But this is how to color grade a photo here in Photoshop. Let me just show you a simple trick to go about it. The first thing to do is that you have to get a layer. So I do Control Alt Shift and E to get a layer. Just do that Control Shift Alt E. It will paste. It will take everything and stamp it on a new layer for you. And then I can go to my filter and I go to Camera Raw Filter. Or you can do Control Shift A. I have that and it will take me back to Camera Raw. <sighs> almost done. Almost done. Good. Now once we are here, this is what we are starting with. What I want to achieve is that I want this to be as natural as possible. I would normally not even color grade this. But I just a few things I have to do. I'm going to go all the way to my curve here and I'm going to choose make a, yeah, a dot here and make an anchor also here. I'll take up the black just a little bit like so. Awesome. Bring down the white just a little bit as well. And just take up the shadows just a little bit. I click on the eye, I look at before and after, before and after. And you're not really seeing the effect so much, but you will very soon. I go to the, make sure you click on yellows here, and I'm going to add, so this is yellow and blues. Take away blues, you're adding yellow. Take away yellows, you're adding blues. I'm going to put some blues exactly. So you can see the effect already happening. This before and after. I put some blues in a very dark part of the photo. Yeah, just a little blues and then i'm going to put some warm at the opposite side very good and this makes the picture very warmish looking like that yeah i know it's kind of my style and i'm going to go to the color mixer i'm going to go all the way to luminance and i'll start to take we check where it's affecting it's not really affecting anything is it take it down purpose not affecting take it down what is this blue should affect something yeah, I think it's gonna be brighter. Let me see. But what I'll tell you is, I'll take the oranges, the oranges on the skin, you see. So I'll just brighten the skin just up like a little plus um, four should do. Look at reds. Reds are also on the skin. But in this case, usually I'll take down the reds. But in this case, I think I'll make them, I'll make them just negative four, like that. Then I go to hue. I go to hue. I'll bring down my. Let me see the oranges. I think they are better off being minus. Let me see. Eight reds should be very red. I don't want the red looking. Red should be minus seven. I think the oranges can go up to minus zero to minus four. That that, that is great. Look at before. And look at after. Before and after. Before and after. Before. You see, just look at the shoulder here. You can see it was very harsh before, but now after it looks very calm and it looks very subtle. And when I'm done, I'm going to the saturation, take down the oranges just a little, and make the reds maybe somewhere plus this. And when I'm done, I'm going to go all the way back to the basic, and I'm going to take up shadows just a little, just to give it some more. Increase the contrast just just a little. So I mean somewhere around. Then, so we have before and we have after. Before and we have after. If I have so much colors to play around with, you will see the amazing thing that I could do with just the color grading bit of it. That is how I go simply about just color grading the picture just to bring it to life. So this is how this picture was before we edited it, and this is how it looks after editing. The next thing is, if you are done with the retouching and everything, we have to export it. But the file size is very important. We don't want a very too big of a, of a file size because we're going to do it on screen and share it over the internet. It shouldn't be too big. So I'll do Control Shift I or I'll go to Image and I'll choose Image Size. And then for the weight, I'm going to choose 1080, 1080 times 2, like that, and I'll choose OK. 1080, usually 1080 is what Instagram wants, but I'll be 10 times 2. Yeah. When I'm done, I'm going to export it now. I'll go to File, Export, Export as Control Alt Shift W to get you down. That as done as well. And when I'm done, I'll just go to JPEG, and it is 1.4. I think it's just great. I'll just export this picture. This very lovely lady. I'm going to say try out and then I'll just export it. So guys, that's pretty much it. Catch you in the very next one. Peace.